Hi everyone, welcome to another video on the meter. My name is Roman and today I wanted to show you something I've been working on for the past couple of weeks, uh, really. And uh, this introduces a, a new way of monitoring a meter cluster. Right? So in one of the previous videos I showed you, hey, uh, how do I kind of uh, set up a basic monitoring you're using um, emitter channel itself and kind of self-monitoring, which is default monitoring. Um, but that's not the only way of monitoring emitter cluster. Right? Uh, something you might be familiar with is uh, traditional um, enterprise-wide uh, monitoring using kind of StatsD protocol uh, and maybe Datadog as a tool. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, monitor your emitter cluster using um, Datadog, right? And really uh, how emitter can push monitoring data into StatsD. So it, you can use Prometheus, Datadog, on, or whatever um, uh, whatever client which supports uh, really a StatsD protocol. Right. So here I have an example. I have I have a server. It doesn't do anything. So if I start it, you can see our monitoring scene is default as user self, right? So first thing to do is we want to actually change that, right? So the way of doing it and going to config and we're uh, going to add a monitor configuration, right? So it's a provider. So uh, provider would be statsd, right? Then config uh, would be be the URL and uh, typically uh, typically uh, stats the agents run locally so typically we have host machine um, local agent and that will push into Datadog right it's not the only setup so you could have a stats the server somewhere in uh, your local area network for example um, but let's assume I have a stats the agent so you provide the URL in the configuration and you also provide uh, the interval, you don't have to. Let's say I also want to send it maybe every uh, one second, right? So that's pretty much it. Uh, by configuring um, this way, you can see that uh, monitoring thing has changed to statsd and not just self, right? And that will be sending monitoring data into um, statsd server, which in case of Datadog, if it's a Datadog agent, which is statsd server, will send back uh, to statsd, the data cloud, sorry, right? Uh, to give you an actual example how to then set up and use it, I already have uh, previously set up a cluster of three nodes. So I have a small cluster running here. I have a Datadog here, and I have a demo dashboard, right? So you can see things like how many, how big is my cluster, what's my max uptime, how many messages per second this cluster gets, uh, how many peers each broker sees, right? Um, so you can detect whether you are actually set up as a full mesh or uh, some kind of strange, more like. Uh, exotic topologies or things like this, how many connections per broker you have or in total, messages received, subscription, messages sent, the CPU usage, uh, heap, stack, coroutines, right? And, and really you can look at, for example, messages received, we can edit this, uh, and it's pretty much you have message received, published, count, right? Uh, and emitter exposes a, a bunch of those. I'm not going to go through details uh, through all of them, but um, uh, in general, there's some about Go, GoLang, so typically Go routines, uh, processors, uh, garbage collection, heap, uh, memory, uh, process information. Uh, interestingly, we also expose latencies. This is a Emitter use MQTT protocol, so there's different packet types of MQTT and their respective latencies, 50, 75, and 99 percentile in case of um, in this example, right? You have received, you have send, um, right? And things like this. So you could 
you go away uh, get and kind of uh, play with play with so how many publish publishing new 99 you can look at 99 percentile uh right to look at latencies in this case uh subscription right kind of median latencies typically zero or very low and that's pretty much it so I'm going to try to share this dashboard and put it on GitHub as well, so you can look at um, and hopefully set up a production ready monitoring for your cluster. Uh, Datadog is pretty nice. It also allows you to set up monitors uh, and I have actually one set up here, I believe. Um, right, so you, you could set up monitors and get alerts and get paged. Uh, if something goes wrong. All right, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you, uh, and uh, please, please subscribe to this channel. I'll be publishing more videos, and please let me know if you're interested in knowing about uh, different parts of a meter or a different kind of computer science topic. Um, thank you, thank you for your attention.